what's up? Wanted to make a quick video for an install on an AEM CD7 into an S13. Um, I've done a couple steps to get to where I'm at right now, so I'll fill you in on what I've done, but obviously take out your factory cluster, and uh, this was a broken heads-up display that we used. So split it in half, completely gut it, take all your gauges and bulbs out, and then I went ahead and cut this opening on the back side. This was um, three and a half inch by four inch, I believe. And that will give you access so you can plug in your AEM dash. And then from there, I went ahead and cut this opening on the bottom of the bezel. And this was one inch by seven and seven eighths. And that'll give you clearance for the bottom of the AEM since it's taller than the factory cluster. And then after I did that, I took a piece of paper and I laid it in there. Obviously the paper was bigger than what it is now, but I took my finger and I made a crease the best I could all the way around. And then I went around that with a Sharpie. And I took that and I taped it onto a piece of cardboard and cut that out. And then after I had the piece of cardboard, I just kept sanding it with um, some like 120 grit sandpaper until I got it to fit almost perfectly in there. And then after I did that, I drilled two holes to mount it to the um, factory cluster bezel. So I just went, if you look on the back, there's like some circles there from the mold. Um, I just drilled through there. And um, I think it was a 7 30 seconds drill bit. And then I just put some M5 screws through there. And then after that, I um, cut this opening, again for the plugs on the back of the AEM dash. Um, I'll throw up the, the um, dimensions for everything. And then um, after that, drill your four holes for the, um, the studs on the back of the AM dash. And those are um, three and a half inches apart, tall, and then five inches apart from, from either side. So just go from center line, two and a half inches, two and a half inches, drill your holes, and then from there, go up three and a half inches and drill your hole. Yeah, three and a half inches. And then um, you're pretty much ready to mount this onto the bezel. So you can see now I have these two holding the bezel onto the factory piece. And then I have the four studs sticking through here for the AM dash. So I'll go ahead and screw that on. So there's the AEM dash on the factory bezel. And I think it looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and put these two back together. Like that. All right, so once you're finished with the cluster, we're gonna go ahead and work on the dash bezel. So we're gonna have to cut the bottom out here. That'll be seven and seven eighths long. And then just cut it down until you meet this line. And then on the top as well, seven and seven eighths long and three and three eighths deep. And then after you're finished with cutting that, sand all the edges and making it look good, we're gonna go ahead and um, do some cutting on the dashboard itself. And um, we're gonna have to remove one of the parts as well. When you're taking this in and out of the car, just be careful because this is 25 year old plastic. And if the garage is 30 degrees, it's gonna crack if you're not careful and I accidentally cracked this, so I'm gonna have to glue it back together. All right, so there's two things to the dash we're gonna have to do. Cut this out here for clearance on the bottom, 
of the uh, AEM dash. So it's about an in inch deep. Just cut it back until you meet this surface and um, just go the full length. And then you're gonna have to remove, there's this bracket here for the factory cluster and the um, dash bezel. And that's held in by three Phillips head screws. So you're gonna have to take those out and um, this will give you clearance because the AEM cluster is taller than the factory cluster. Now that the dash is cut and you remove that bracket, we can go ahead and do a test fit. So obviously because you remove that bracket, you won't have a uh, mounting spot on the top, but you'll still have your two mounting spots on either side. And then you can see here where you cut this opening for the clearance on the bottom of the AEM dash. So now I'll go ahead and install the dash bezel. I want you to be careful, I already cracked this one. Here it is with everything installed. From the seat, you'll still be able to see the shift lights. And then none of your screen is cut off either. It runs just parallel with the dash. So now I'll go ahead and take everything apart and trace my cardboard piece onto a piece of carbon fiber and uh, start cutting. So here's the piece of carbon. I got it off eBay, it was like 35 bucks. Looks fine for what we're doing. And then here's the cardboard template on the back. Everything's laid out, the holes are all laid out. Um, lined up the bottom with this straight edge, so it's one less thing I have to cut. So yeah, I'll go ahead and start cutting and then uh, got a lot of sanding until everything fits right. take just a lot of test fitting trying it sanding more but we're getting there So pretty much all sanded down, but I could sand it a little bit more in some spots, but I just want to um, cut these out on the top. So that's kind of like a slot. And then I'm pretty much finished. <laughs> Let's do a quick test fit and see how we look. I need to find nuts for those yet.
Looks pretty good. I'll throw it in the dash now and see how it looks. So here it is, all done. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So I didn't think I was going to be able to get a CD7 to fit in here and look proper, but I think it came out really good. So if you guys have any questions or need any tips on what to do, just let me know. Thanks. Thank you.